A network of innovative companies is spreading across Germany. Energy efficiency networks are covering the country. They're made up of medium-sized enterprises. Together, these companies exchange experiences, come up with new ideas and invent clever concepts. Their goal is to use energy more efficiently with measures that really pay off. If many participants talk openly with each other in a network and share their ideas, then everyone stands to benefit. The scope of service of the network includes a 10 to 15 day energy evaluation, 16 whole day network meetings, in addition to the annual monitoring. The companies finance their participation through implementing the highly cost-efficient energy measures, which will normally show an IRR of 30 percent. Since 2008, ever more firms across almost the whole of Germany have been joining these networks. By mid-2013, there were more than 65 networks. They are part of the strategy of reducing the energy costs of industry and enhancing its competitiveness and more are expected. Anyone can take up the initiative and set up a new network. An initiator, for example, a chamber of commerce and industry, a municipal utility or an engineering firm, sends invitations for a first regional meeting. Between 10 and 15 companies then form a regional network. In their regular meetings, all participants receive professional advice and expert presentations on energy efficient solutions. These meetings focus on the exchange of the participants' experiences. They discuss new ideas, successful energy-efficient investment and organizational measures. Joint site visits are a fixed part of the meetings. To support and guarantee the quality of the network's activities, a comprehensive method has been developed and tested over years. This method is known as LEAN, Learning Energy Efficiency Networks. The Lean management system has two main objectives. One, to identify measures and support their implementation. This means that less effort is required on the part of the companies. Two, to guarantee high quality through standardization. Specialist vocational training courses for the energy technology consultants and moderators also contribute to this. This innovative concept certainly pays off for the participating companies. The Median Centrum Giesdorf has participated in a network since 2011. It has 400 employees and a turnover of about 60 million euro. A local company with whom we're on friendly terms drew our attention to this network. And because our energy costs had risen sharply due to new technologies, we thought we'd give it a go. The result was excellent we've been able to save about 10% of total energy costs, amounting to roughly 50,000 euro a year. Another German company, Viga, based in Fiersen, has been part of an energy efficiency network since 2012, when its turnover was around 30 million euro and its energy consumption about 4.7 gigawatt hours. Every single company has potential. I have to admit that to start with, we were a bit smug, thought we had all our bases covered. Then, after the initial consultation, we found so much potential that an average saving of 10% is realistic. The consistent assessment of the network participants is positive. The exchanges benefit the environment and the bottom line. I'd recommend any interested newcomer to join in. It's really worth it. I find the energy efficiency network very interesting and important for the simple reason that you get to see where you stand in energy efficiency and what other companies have already done to save energy. Measures you can or should still take yourself. Any medium-sized or larger company can participate in an energy efficiency network supported by certified energy consultants and moderators. On average, the companies double their energy productivity. And this is a persuasive instrument from industry for industry. It's about opportunities, trust and courage. Professional help reduces the risks. It's also about the future of an innovative economy. Energy efficiency is the cornerstone of transforming the energy sector. It's very important for us to work in an environmentally friendly way and to be perceived as environmentally aware. For the planet, we want to do what is essential, something we can do and want to do.